Hello and welcome to Web Scraping with Java. In this live example, we are going to scrape the top 250 movies from IMDb. So let's get started. Fire up your browser and search for IMDb top 250 and click on the first result. We like to extract the title and the rating here. Time to start coding. Open up your IDE Create a new project We will use a Maven project in this example Say next Enter the group ID and the artifact ID Project name Oh, not scraper, IMDB scraper and finish make this go full screen enable the auto import so now we do have a empty project with nothing in it let's create a main class call it scraper and just add a main method to it Okay, so now we need to go back to our browser and just Google JZoop. Click on the first result. We will use this library here for fetching and extracting the data. And we need to download it. And I just copy in the Maven dependency snippet here. Go back to the IDE, switch to my POM file add a dependencies here and just paste it so now we should be good to go let's start with just fetching the HTML of the site and printing it to the console to do that we say we want a document it's a jzoop document and then say jzoop.connect use the URL and call get now we do get an exception here we just add it to the method signature I use the general exception here so we don't get bothered with this again and now we just say print to console document dot outer HTML let's run this Perfect. This is the HTML code of the site. It's the whole site. So the next job is to extract the data we want to have. To do that, go back to your browser, open up your developer tools, use the inspect element tool and just click on the first row here. As we can see here, it's, it's a table and as it seems, if we look a little bit more, as it seems each table row corresponds to one result row. So these should be 250 rows, looks good. And what we want to do now is to extract the data in here. So we can see here there's a title column and we can see here there's a rating column. But this is the widget, this is the right column here. And it just has the rating in it. Let's go back to our IDE, delete the console printing and start a for each loop. Say uh, for element row to document select table chart and full width I think let's just check it yes it's right 
and then we want to get all the table rows so now we got the table rows and we have to extract the data let's start with the title just copy this class here go back to the IDE say title equals row dot select title column class and then we want to get the text next thing is we'd like to get the rating let's go back and as we said it's this one here so these both have a rating column but this has the class IMDB rating so we are going to use this one copy it go back row.select IMDB rating dot text. Now let's just print it to the console. We say title add just something like this rating and add the rating. Let's run this example. Perfect. This is exactly what we like to have except the row number in front of the title. We have to get rid of that. So back to the browser and examine the title column. Ah, there it is. So we can see here there's the row number inside here and then it's a link and we just want to get the text from the link. So we have to tweak our selector here a little bit. Just say we want the link now it should be good yes that's what we wanted to get now we do have all the titles and the corresponding rating now you can export this data to process it any further uh, or use it as an input for some other program but in this video we are finished here you can download the source code of this project on github the link is below in the description area of this video. If you have enjoyed what you have seen so far and like to learn professional web scraping with Java, just head over to my course on Udemy and join over 500 students. For a limited time I offer you a 50% discount. You will get it if you click on the link down below in the description area from this video. I hope you enjoyed this and maybe see you in the course.